Yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we've got an OP live war for you here in the MPL playoffs, guys. It's going to be Queen Walkers versus Darkest Muzan. These are two of the best clans in the world. Let's go ahead and see who's going to come out with the victory today. With the quarterfinals of the NPL Season 3, we have Queen Walkers versus Darkest Muzan. And they already attacked. They already attacked. I just woke up. My hair's a mess. I need some coffee. But here we go. Here we go. Let's go ahead and check out the first two attacks. Both of them were fails. One on each side. This one from Stadra. Man, these guys attacked as soon as battle day started. Brave. This one, we'll watch in two times speed, so hopefully we don't miss the other lives. Stadra coming in here with a Yeti smash with an early blimp. Let's go ahead and check it out. Unfortunate that this one didn't work out for him. He did get the early CC pool. Does a queen and warden walk over here. And then just, honestly, just Yeti smash straight in from 12, it looks like. Or no, he's going to wall break again over at 1 o'clock. So the queen and warden walk is just to get the air defense. And then he's going to do another wall break over here to get the junction and all the Yeti smash coming into the Inferno Tower compartment. And we'll times four through this so we can also see the other attack and then bounce out and watch the rest of the lives. It looks like all his Yetis and Bowlers got absolutely wrecked by the Eagle and Town Hall combination. And then the Road Champ has no tanking except for one freeze spell. So nice try from Stadra, but that one's not going to work out. And that one ended up being like a 68% uh, fail right there. And then we'll check out this attack over here by Darkest Muzan on Yuda's base. Went to Starbucks already? Yeah. I woke up and went to Starbucks, Jackie. <laughs> Oh, we got a live. We got a live. That one was a 85% on Yuta's base, but now we got Mr. Chin in on stars. Let's see. Let's see what he's bringing. There goes an early blimp with a rage spell. Yetis are going to get that um, scatter shot down and the road champ and pull the CC. We also have another live. Guys, these 10v10 wars, there's so many lives back to back to back, even some overlapping attacks. So we're going to get to see a lot of action today. Starting the queen over here at 2 o'clock. Gonna have to drop that poison nice and early there for the headhunters. Give that queen about four and a half weeks to kill that lava hound. And then she'll have to deal with the pups, which is gonna take her at least another seven days. He has three minions to help with the pups, so it won't take that long after all. King on the outside to funnel here for Mr. Chin. Nicely done so far. And this isn't gonna be a queen charge hybrid, guys. This is going to be a straight up hog attack, right? Queen charge hogs on this one. He even has a jump spell to get the queen all the way to the town hall, it looks like. Oh boy, this is going to be a nice charge. If he can get queen all the way to the town hall, she'll also be able to kill the enemy queen. And then probably hog from 1 o'clock, if I had to guess. There goes the rage. There goes the freeze. Probably didn't need the rage, but you know what? He drops it anyway. Still has one more rage for this queen charge to use whenever he's ready. And here come the hogs from 1 o'clock. Hog Rider. Here we come. Straight into two skelly traps, a giant bomb, eagle artillery, Tesla farm. Oh my gosh. He drops the headhunters. Luckily gets the headhunters in the warden ability, but they both hit a spring. Oh no. He doesn't have headhunters anymore because of that. Royal champ on the king though. She'll be able to help take out the king, but it's going to take her at least 42 days to get through that king because he has so much HP and these hogs are losing HP fast. Look, all 25 hogs already pretty much dead. Wow, those hogs just got absolutely demolished. Queen making her way over to the single target inferno. Doesn't have her ability, so she goes down. It's a healer swap onto the road champ. But I think there's way too many defenses. Way too many defenses for her to get through. Even with her ability, no way she can do it with the help of the warden. She's going to path around the single target inferno as well. And this one's going to be a defense for stars. Going to be a defense for stars. Let's check out the other live. Let's check out the other live. It is Akira from Queen Walkers Inn. Already has two stars. Already has two stars. And this one's going to be a triple. Oh, baby. Akira from Queen Walkers getting the first triple of the war. We'll go back and rewatch the entry here. But finally, we get a triple here. And it's from Queen Walkers. They're going to start off with a bang here in the first two round of attacks they get a triple nicely done to them let's go ahead and check out that replay akira coming in clutch getting the early triple for queen walkers and they're going to take the lead here at the beginning it's going to be a nice hybrid wow look how many hybrid troops he has 19 miners and 10 hogs that's a pretty heavy hybrid sometimes you see me taking a hybrid with only like 14 miners and seven hogs akira says nah 
I don't need cleanup troops. All I need is hybrid. My hybrid does my cleanup. Let's see how he's going to do it. It's going to need an early freeze here for the Inferno. A rage spell as well. Queen goes right in at 1 o'clock. I'm going to get that Inferno Tower down. And where is he going to do the second wall break? Right there, because he wants Queen to go up and around to the Town Hall. Lots of Skelly Traps. Lots of CC troops coming out. Two Headhunters. Got to watch out for those. They're going to do a lot of damage to the Queen. Is he going to have to drop another Rage nice and early? I think he does. There goes the second Rage already. Queen barely hanging on to her life. Her HP got really low, but still doesn't have to pop a Freeze. Doesn't have to pop the ability just yet. Already starting with King Siege Barracks. Unfortunately had to pop the Queen ability because of those pups after all. And then look how widespread this hybrid is. Holy crap, Akira, you ballsy man. Where's my pin? Where's my pin? There it is. Look at how widespread this hybrid is. Jeez. Like, it has to go through all of this? That's pretty crazy. I would have never thought of hybriding that wide. Wow. And it works out for him. Queen goes back around. She's going to get the Town Hall eventually. He's one more rage for her. And the hybrid pathing into the core here. They're just going to get everything. Pops a war and ability. The troops are all splitting up, going in different on de different defenses all at the same time. But it doesn't even matter. That war and ability was so OP. And then one more heal here for the troops. Rorachan gets the stuff in the core. Wow. Nice job from Akira. That last free spell actually coming in clutch to save his Roa champion. Beautiful, beautiful Queen Charge hybrid. Ballsy play there, and it worked out well for him. It worked out very well for him. So now it's five to four after the first two rounds of attacks from each team. Let's go ahead and see the next live attack from Darkest Muzan is in. It's Tad on Arthur's base. Here we go. Coming in with the drag bat. Let's see if Tad can make it work here. Starting off with the early wizard funnel over at 2 o'clock. Balloon at 11 with an E-Dragon to funnel. E-Dragon should be able to get that archer tower with ease. King over at 3 o'clock. With the queen in behind as well. Go ahead and check something. All right, we're good to go. All the dragons coming in from 12 and 1 o'clock with the warden on air. Warden on air often is better for dragon attacks. I have put him on ground for one air attack before. Doesn't normally work out well. Dragons in the rage. Get those headhunters down before they damage the warden. Pops a warden ability over the Giga Bomb. Stone Slammer over at 2 o'clock. Probably to try and get some of these wizard towers. I don't know if it will with the sweeper messing with them. Another Rage spell for the Dragons on the left side of the core here. They're splitting off in different directions using the Roa Champ to support the Dragons on the right side of the base. Pops the Queen ability for the Tesla Farm. Queen's going to damage the RC. Does she get her down in time? She does just before her ability wears off. Starting the Bat Bomb right on this Wizard Tower and Scattershot in the core. Ballsy stuff here. Only one more Splash building in the base to worry about. And a Red Bomb hits the Bats. Oh no, but he still has a million and 17,000 Bats left. Can he get through that last wizard tower? He has two freezes. He's going to go ahead and freeze it, even though it was distracted by a dragon. I think that was the wrong call. Should have left the wizard tower distracted by the dragon. But now it's going to be on the dragon again. But now this single target inferno is on the dragon. I think he still gets this, though. He's got like 87 dragons over here on the outside of the base. There goes the last freeze. The wizard tower does go down to the dragon before the dragon dies. And the bats get some of these defenses. I don't know if they'll be able to get through that single, though. Will they? No, that single has way too much HP. Warden goes down to a seeking air mine. He got absolutely demolished in the face. Look at him shaking his head. He's upset about it, but there's still... what? Is, how many dragons is that? Six dragons? Can they path to the single? They're going to get stuck on the king first. Uh-oh. 92%. He has a wizard for some of the cleanup buildings. The dragons get stuck on the king, and this inferno is just going to pick them off one at a time. There's already two dragons down. Only three dragons left, and they path outside. Oh, rip. Rip these dragons, but now they get out of the range of the Inferno. Hold on. Two dragons, and they one of them has really good HP. Of course, the Archer Tower targets the one that's low, and the single target Inferno targets the other one. Oh, no. Not enough time. The Inferno heats up, and boom, Dragon is down. 97% for Tad. That was such a close attack. That was such a close attack. I think he used that second to last freeze too early. The wizard tower was locked on to a dragon and he didn't actually need it. But wow, nice try nonetheless. Nice try. Here we go. Next attack for Queen Walkers is in. 
Arthur is in on Mr. Chin's base. Let's see what he's bringing. Looks like, oh, here we go with the zap. Mass Witch Attack. This is the new attack that's been becoming meta lately. You've seen Itsu do it. He's an absolute god with it. Some other players are figuring out how to use it as well. 11 witches on this one. Queen and Warden Walk nice and early here on the top side. They're going to wrap around to the left side of the base. He's going to zap, quake, the scatter shot, and expo right here at 11 o'clock. And then I think he's going to send the mass witches into the multi-target inferno and jump them to the town hall. I wonder how he's going to get the eagle, though. You normally don't want to end on the eagle. Oh, or is queen going to go to the left or to the right? She does go left. Okay. So pathing is just how Arthur predicted. They're going to skip the eagle, but I think that's okay. He probably has a plan for it. We'll see here in a little bit. Siege Barracks being used at 9 o'clock. King, where's the king going to go? Still has the king to drop. Another wall break on the outside here. That's interesting. Of the same compartment. Healers are switching over to the witches. Queen is getting hit by that warden. And the headhunter is going to have to pop her ability or, or, the, or the warden. No, I guess not. The healers in the rage absolutely help her a lot. Still hasn't dropped the king. Is that a mistake or is that planned? Okay, king going in at 6 o'clock. I guess that was a plan. Queen and the witches maybe going to wrap around to this third wall break. Let's see. Don't think they can reach the clan castle. Queen's going to beat on a corner wall. But he does have plenty of witches going in for the town hall. He's going to freeze that up to make sure the skeletons stay alive for a long time here. Queen and most of the witches are going to the core. Royal Champ coming in at the bottom as well. So he is planning on just ending on the eagle. Okay, ballsy play here from Arthur. Let's see if it works out for him. Town Hall is going to go down to those Yetis, the Witches, and the Royal Champ on the bottom side. King still has his ability. Oh my gosh, that King is getting so much value, guys. Pops a Warden ability in the core. One Wizard. Can the one Wizard get the Eagle by himself? Or is the Archer Tower in range? Oh my gosh, that one Wizard is so good. What a Wizard right there on the back end. Going to get the Eagle all by himself. Queen, Witches, everybody making their way over to 3 o'clock. Guys, this is wrecked. Has one more freeze for the single target in front of him to keep all his heroes alive. He still has all... Four heroes alive. Look at this. This base is demolished. Doesn't even need the Royal Champ ability. It doesn't even matter that the Eagle is the last building to go down. It's crushed. It's crushed. What an attack. What a plan by Arthur. That is why the Mass Witch attack is so good. Holy crap. Those witches never died. And just like that, after the third round of attacks, Queen Walkers are two for three. While well, Darkest Moves On are 0 for 3. Big advantage to Queen Walkers. But now the next attack for Darkest Moves On is coming in. Chien is in on Gaku's base. Coming in with a Queen Charge hybrid, guys, with 5 balloons. we got another live in the background. But we're going to check out this one right here. Hopefully it's going to be an OP Queen Charge Lalo. It looks like it's actually a Zap. I just said Queen Charge Lalo. Lol. It's going to be a Zap hybrid here. Queen's going to walk the Town Hall. He uses a couple of Sneaky Goblins to funnel. No Wall Breakers on this one. Already zapped four defenses over here at 6 o'clock or 6.30ish. That way, Queen has direct pathing to the Town Hall. Baby Dragon to funnel the outside, so she should be able to go directly in. That Baby Dragon's even going to get the Builder Hut as well. Going to try to use a Hog here to pull the CC nice and early. We'll see if that Hog actually pulls the CC or not. Come on, Hog. He is going to get inside the range. Outcome, three Goblins, two Headhunters, and a Lava Hound. But Queen activates the Town Hall first. Oh no, this timing with the CC pull was not actually ideal. Now he has to fight the CC with the Giga Inferno on him. It's going to cost him a Rage, which maybe he had would have had to use anyway. So maybe it's not that bad, as long as the healers aren't getting damaged, which they're not. One more Kokoloon coming in. Queen's going to have to deal with all these Lava Pups, which will take her three days. But eventually she'll get through all of them. Fight the Town Hall, keep making her way up, and he's already starting the hybrid from the 8 o'clock angle with King and Siege Barracks on the outside. Didn't bring any free spells to this attack. He decides to take two heals instead. So Queen's just going to have to pop her ability once she gets low on health. No freezes to keep anything alive. Had to use the Warden ability early as well because there's a lot of damage on the hybrid. The Queen, the Warden, the Expos, the Eagle. So much damage here. Pops that Warden ability. Oh, and the Road Champ gets locked onto by the single. That's so unfortunate. She dies super early here. And one more heal to heal up the hybrid into the Scattershot Tesla Farm. Double, triple Giant Bomb. Holy shoot. He lost a lot of miners to that triple Giant Bomb. Royal Champ doing a lot of damage as well. Queen gets in range of the single target Inferno at 3 o'clock. Gonna have to pop her ability. Does he have enough to get through this? There's still hogs and miners alive in the core. 
If the queen can stay alive and if the single target inferno goes down, I think there's a chance. King still alive on the outside gets all the trash buildings. The single target inferno does go down. It's a triple. It's a triple for Chien. I think he's got it. Yeah. 40 seconds on the clock. Three hogs left. Warden. Like four or five miners. It's a triple. Yeah, it's definitely a triple. Nice job to Chien. Let's back out. See the other live. This one from Queen Walkers in on Kartik's base. Wow, I can't believe that one tripled. Even though he lost so many miners early and the Royal Champ early. This one's a triple as well from Queen Walkers. A third triple from Queen Walkers. They are on fire. 40 seconds. Plenty of time to get the last two trash buildings. We're going to watch this entry again because we missed it. But dang, Queen Walkers are on fire. Let's go ahead and check out that one that we just missed from Queen Walkers. See the entry. This is a solid match we're seeing, guys. This one, another witch attack, but no healers. He takes three golems, and they're not even maxed. Oh, he pops a... <laughs> look at that. He pops a... <laughs> you can see it in real time. That's so funny. Look, his troops aren't maxed, and you can see him pop the power potion, like, live. Like, look, the golem isn't maxed, and then wait, like, two seconds, and then all of a sudden, every troop is maxed. You can see him pop the power potion. Boom, everything's maxed. <laughs> OP power potion here. Three golems on this one, and it's just a mass bowler witch attack with three golems from the top left side of the base. Holy crap. Every troop, every single troop deployed in like the first five seconds of the attack. Every single troop in the first five seconds, <laughs> except for one archer. One cleanup archer. He says, don't worry, guys. I got a cleanup archer in case I miss a building. Dang. OP planning here from Queen Walkers. We'll go ahead and times two through it in case there's any other lives coming in soon. Triple jump through the entire base with even a heal spell in the core. He never even used his poison. Look at that. He's got pups on the top side. He never even used his poison. He's like, don't worry. Don't worry, guys. It's for swag. I don't need it. Scatter shot on the back end. Wow. <laughs> OP spam attack from Queen Walkers. Nice job to them. Let's go ahead and take a look at the score again. After the fourth round of attacks, Queen Walkers are up 11 to 9 on stars. They are 3 for 4, while Darkest Muzan are 1 for 4. But Darkest Muzan with a couple of time fails, so they are keeping up on percent. Look at this. The percent's almost tied. Percent is almost tied, so Darkest Muzan just need a couple triples, and they're back in it. Yuda 14 is in for Queen Walkers. The god himself, Yuda 14, is in with... A drag bat on this base here that has a multi and a sweeper in the core. What is he going to do? Early wizard funnel at 4 o'clock here. Wizard's going to get a few trash buildings. He's going to one zap, one quake the inferno at 3. You already know he's going to use the RC ability right away over there to get those buildings down. Nicely done there from Yuta14. She's going to go in, get the wizard tower as well even. Then what's next? Archer 8 o'clock, minion is 6, queen over here at 4.30. He does have a wall breaker, so the king's going to be used, the wall breaker's going to be used. He wants queen to go in and get the scatter shot. It looks like, oh, the scatter targets the queen. No. Definitely wanted it to target his king, probably. King's going to go fight the enemy queen, which is nice. Now he'll be able to pop his queen ability, get the eagle artillery, and even get these two defenses in here for pathing as well. Another live in the background that we'll check out right after this. We're going to watch Yuta14's attack, though, because he's a beast. Queen pops her ability, gets the cannon, gets the expo, creates some nice pathing. Oh, she might even get that other expo as well. No, the scatter shot locks onto her, and she's going to get absolutely demolished. Dragon's coming in from the 1 o'clock angle now. Okay, he's going to go, and eh, not really directly into the sweeper, but almost. Stone Slammer being used with the dragons. Watch out for those headhunters. He's going to freeze them. Dragons will take them out now. Nicely done. Still has another rage. Six bats and two freezes here for the back end. Town Hall gets activated because he's already at 50%. Pops that Warden ability. Stone Slammer has direct pathing to the core. That's actually OP. All he has to worry about is the scatter shot over here on the left side of the base for his bats. He's going to try to tank that Wizard Tower with a giant. And then he's going to get it down with a couple of loons. If these loons can take out the scatter shot. Oh, this base is so wrecked, guys. That scatter shot goes down. He still has six bats. Six bats and only one wizard tower to worry about. Bat bomb from six o'clock coming. There's nothing that can stop these bats, honestly. 
There's nothing that can stop these bats. He freezes the wizard tower on the top side and the inferno tower to save the warden and the dragons, but honestly didn't even need to do that. These bats are going to come through and just absolutely demolish this base. Boom, every single defense down. Plenty of time for cleanup. That base got absolutely crushed from Yuta 14. Beautiful hit from Queen Walkers. Let's check out the other live from Darkest Muzan. Over here, see what they're bringing. Looks like a Yeti smash. Pop in the Warden ability. He's got a long way to go to get to that Town Hall. Jumping into the core. Healer switch over to the Yeti. Still has a blimp for the Town Hall. Another live as well. Can he get to that Town Hall or does he have to use the blimp? I think he has to use the blimp. Looks like he's going to use the blimp from 1030. Bowler on the outside, not going to live much longer. There goes the blimp for the Town Hall. Queen pops a Hound. And I don't know, Queen's dying fast. She's losing a lot of HP. Going to have to pop her ability. There goes another jump. Blimp does make it to the Town Hall. Uh, sneaky Goblins in the blimp, it looks like, with some Yetis. Town Hall goes down. Can he get through the rest of the base? Roa Champ being used over here at 4 o'clock. She'll be able to go up toward 3. This actually might be pretty close. Healers on the Queen. Still has her ability as well. And he has a freeze for the Royal Champ to keep her alive. This might work. Hold on. There goes the freeze. Royal Champ's going to stay alive. Pop her ability. There goes her ability. She can get the Inferno down. Queen is still alive as well. It's going to come down to time. This might be a time fail for Darkest Muzan. He has a wizard on the outside. All the troops are on the board. Still has the Queen ability that he should just pop for time at this point. Yeah, he pops the Queen ability. She's going to start working on these storages on the outside. Oh, it's going to be a time fill. Only 14 seconds left. Royal Champ's going to die to the cannon and the Skelly Trap. Oh, what a heartbreaker. Another good attack from Darkest Muzan, but they fall short on time again. That's like the third time fill for Darkest Muzan. They finish this one at 95%. And the next attack for Queen Walkers is in. The next attack for Queen Walkers is from Kiyosh coming in with... It looks like another Yeti smash, or is it all witches? I can't tell. No, there's Yetis in there. Yetis in the core. Healers go over toward the king, though, on the right side. Queen and bowlers taking out the enemy queen in the core there. Has a P.E.K.K.A. from the siege barracks with witches on the outside to funnel. Roa Champ coming in to support from the 4 o'clock angle. Rage Spell in the core. Has to deal with those lava pups. Warden took a lot of damage, but he's still alive. Queen going to have to pop her ability right now. Maybe she can get that scatter shot before she dies. Oh, I think he pops the ability too late. Queen's going to take damage. Or no. No. Get the scatter shot, Queen. Get the scatter shot. She does right before she dies. That was actually really OP. Still has the Roa Champ with a healer and her ability and a free spell. The healer goes down to a secondary mine. Plenty of cleanup troops on the outside. He's going to have to pop the Roa Champ ability up here toward the 12 o'clock angle. And he has to get through the single target inferno. But it's low. It's low. It's already damaged. If he can save the ability... Her ability can actually chain that Inferno Tower. Hold on. No, he has to pop it right now. And it does. The Inferno Tower is down. Here we go. He still has the freeze, but he's not going to use it. Yes, he does. But he misses a cannon. No, Kiyash. If you would have gotten that cannon, Roro Champ would have gotten both cannons. I think it still triples. I think it still triples. 36 seconds on the clock. Wizards and Witches can take out the cannon. That's a triple. Queen Walkers are demolishing these bases today guys they are on fire holy crap plenty of time for cleanup pekka and yeti tanking for the two witches that can snipe the archer tower and the wizard tower that's another triple for queen walkers that's another triple wow look at that the wizard tower goes down let's check out the score again six attacks have been used from both sides and the score is 17 to 13. Queen Walkers are 5 for 6. 5 for 6. And Darkest Muzan are 1 for 6. Holy crap. Queen Walkers on fire. They only have one fail. Here we go. Next attack for Queen Walkers. Gaku himself is in. Let's see what he's doing. Let's see what he's doing. Bring in. Ooh, boy. Queen Charge Lalo. Here we go. My favorite attack strategy to watch. Queen Church Lalo always looks so cool when it goes right. Here we go. Gaku is in. Starting the Queen at 2 o'clock. Early King at 3 to try and get the single target Inferno. Looks like might have to use a free spell for him. He does. Uses a free spell just to make sure that King gets the single down and makes the funnel for the Queen. She's going to walk over here toward 130. He does have one Super Wall Breaker. Where will he use it? We're going to see here in just a little bit. 
Royal Champ to funnel the top side. Queen's gonna have to fight the enemy king and the queen pretty soon. He drops an early rage for the queen because he knows she's about to fight these heroes. And here she goes. She's gonna fight both heroes at the same time. He's gonna freeze. Has a headhunter. There goes the headhunter. Headhunter inside the rage spell absolutely melts enemy heroes. They're all dead. Where's he gonna use the wall breaker? There goes the wall breaker. Targets the builder hut. That was actually really nice. Another Rage Spell to keep this queen alive. She's taking a lot of damage. A lot of damage. Already has to pop her ability because of that Warden. Or no. Wow. Didn't pop the ability. Balls of Steel here from Gaku. His queen goes in, gets the Warden. And now this queen charge is looking really nice. She's back up to full health. And she's going to be able to get a lot more value. She'll even get the Royal Champ as well. As she keeps pathing left here. No, she goes and gets the Scatter first. Now she's going to fight the CC and the Royal Champ at the same time. Look at this. A blimp? For the scatter shot, I think he's going to pop it early. Or is he not? Nope. Blim's going all the way to the town hall. All right, here we go. Blim gets the town hall. Early free spell. Sends a couple extra loons for the scatter shot. Town hall's already down. Guys, this is looking really nice for Gaku. Hound pathing toward 9 o'clock. Loons on the scatter shot, so the scatter on the right side is going to go down. Scatter on the left side is tanked by the queen. Pops the Warden ability. Oh my god, he has so many loons alive and still has a Rage spell. Queen's going to get the Wizard Tower on the back end. Still has her ability. She's going to go around and finish off the rest of the base. He doesn't even need her though. This is crushed. This is crushed. Gaku showing why he's so good with Queen Charges. Oh my gosh, guys. Queen Walkers are just unstoppable today. Unstoppable today. This was such a beautiful attack. 30 seconds to spare. Gaku coming in with the Queen Charge Lalo and just absolutely smashing this base. It stood no chance. That Queen Charge was unbelievable. Gaku getting another triple for Queen Walkers. And they are 6 for 7. They are 6 for 7, guys. Queen Walkers are on fire. I can't say it enough. They are just doing amazing today. Here we are with the next attack, guys. Darkest Muzan is in. Kartik on Klaus's base. They really need a triple here to start catching up in stars to Queen Walkers. They're coming in with the mass hog attack with zap spells and an earthquake for the core. Wait a second. Okay, he does get the CC down. I didn't see that. No. Oh, yeah, he has a third earthquake. Okay, wow. I got scared for him for a second. Down goes the CC. King up top at 12 o'clock. Royal Champion behind. King and Royal Champ gonna get some nice value over here. Yeti at 130. Another live attack in the background. Yeti Mites are gonna get that Archer Tower. Where's the Queen gonna be dropped? Royal Champ pops her ability, gets the Wizard Tower, and then she passed to the right, which means the Cannon stays alive with 1 HP. Ice Golem coming in front of the King Queen here. He does have a Wall Breaker that he can target the Expo with. Was the funnel good enough, or does Queen go to the right? Yeah, she goes inside. Okay, funnel's perfect. Wall breaks the King into the enemy Queen. Queen goes inside. This is looking like a nice Sui. If the Queen keeps pathing down, she can get the Eagle, the Scatter Shot, and the Wizard Tower. Battle Ram coming in over here for the Town Hall. Sneaky Goblins and Yetis will be able to get the Town Hall with ease. Yeti Mites are even going to get the cannon, and the goblins go back outside, and they're going to do some cleanup on those storages. OP goblins right there. Queen pops her ability. Damage the king. Does not get the wizard tower, but she got the eagle and the scatter shot, which is actually extremely good value. Hogs coming in from 9 o'clock. Early heal. He's got two heals, one freeze, and the warden ability. There go the headhunters for the RC. Saves one more headhunter to kill the king on the back end here, because he doesn't have a row of champ, so he needs that headhunter. And then pop the warden ability over the scatter shot, I presume. Here in just a second. Hogs doing a disco dance in that tornado trap. Pops the warden ability. More hogs coming in from the bottom side. All the hogs have been deployed at this point. Gonna have to be smart with this last heal. Drops it over the scatter shot. Does he have enough hogs to path through the rest of the base here? There goes the one and only freeze. Now he needs to time this headhunter perfectly to kill the enemy king here. When is he gonna drop it? There goes the headhunter from 7 o'clock. He's gonna come all the way over here and try to absolutely... Demolish this king on the backside. His hogs are dying fast though. He's only got like six or seven hogs left. There goes the headhunter on the king. The timing was perfect. I think king's gonna go down. Does he have enough hogs? Does he have enough hogs? Come on. King goes down. Three hogs. Two hogs. Two defenses left. The warden's still alive. One hog. 
wizard or warden with the wizards and the headhunter can they finish off these defenses the cannon goes down the archer tower is going down it's a triple the warden clutches it out it's a triple for kartek finally we see darkest muzan get a triple plenty of time to get that last building and let's check out another live that one's just starting let's check out this one from queen walkers already at two stars already at two stars coming in and oh it's a defense Looks like it was a Sui Lalo attack, a Zap Lalo for Queen Walkers, and finally, Queen Walkers proving that they are human after all and getting a fail. Nice try to them there. Let's check out that other live. It's not letting us view the base. I'm gonna take this off screen so I can scout and hit view live. There we go, and we're in. And it looks like a hybrid attack from B. You got a healer swap onto the hybrid. That's looking OP. Queen pops her ability. Oh no, he has to get the town hall. Oh no. He doesn't have anything for the town hall. Okay, he freezes. Queen's gonna get it. Whew, that scared me for a second. One more heal for the hybrid on the back end. Queen gets the town hall. Pops the warden ability. This might be crushed. I think this is crushed. He's got another freeze. Royal champ at full health and not many defenses left alive. This is a triple for Darkest Muzan. This is a triple all day long. Doesn't even need the freeze. Wow, 40 seconds to go for cleanup. No buildings that he missed on the backside. Beautiful attack from B here. Darkest Muzan getting two triples in a row. Nicely done. After all their time fails, they're finally getting back into it. Let's go ahead and see if there's another live we're missing. I don't think so. I don't think so. So after the eighth round of attacks, Queen Walkers are up by three triples though. They're up by three triples. They are six for eight, while Darkest Muzan are three for eight. Let's do it. Darkest Muzan in with their ninth attack here. Ties in on the top base. Coming in with a dragon attack with a clone spell. We don't see many clone spells these days. It's going to be interesting to see how much value he can get from this clone spell here. Early Yeti at 12 o'clock. I think he's trying to get the air defense with the Yeti Mites, and he will. The Yeti's going to die, and the Yeti Mites should be able to get that air defense. Air defense is down. Blimp from 1230. Looks like for the Eagle. With a clone spell. And an E-Dragon with the Rage and a Poison. The, the balloons do not path to the Eagle, though. And the Dragon goes away for the Royal Champ. I don't think that was planned. I think he definitely wanted the Eagle. No way he didn't want the Eagle. One more E-Dragon of his own being used at 1 o'clock. Warden being targeted by these loons, but those loons got no value. They almost got the Warden. Uh-oh. He definitely wanted that Eagle, and now he's going to just send the Dragons in from 2 o'clock. Queen on the outside. She's going to walk down the side of the base. King in as well to go in front of her. All these Dragons pathing in. He says, eh, who cares about the Eagle now? I'm going to continue with my plan. Pop the Warden ability there. Nothing passed to the eagle. He still has his royal champ, but the king is guarding the eagle, so he can't really use the royal champ there. No bats on this attack. It's just straight up dragons, rages, and freezes here. Everybody making their way toward this town hall. Ooh, gonna freeze the town hall. The dragons are not inside a rage when they fight this town hall. That's not good. He's gonna have to freeze it again, or this is gonna be a one star. Come on, you gotta freeze the town hall. He decides to use the royal champ there. Tornado trap. Freezes anyway. Warden dies. I think he hit a seeking air mine or something. Uh oh. King and Queen still at full health, but it's looking like a defense for Queen Walkers. Looking like a defense for Queen Walkers. Royal Champ pops her ability. Queen also pops her ability. Oh man. And the clan castle troops get lured by the Royal Champ. Oh, now the Hound. Queen's gonna die anyway. She's super low on HP. It's a defense for Queen Walkers. Nice try here from Ty. But no way this one pulls through. Royal Champ, is she even going to kill the Hound or is she going to die to the Hound? King and Dragon die on the top side. This is an epic battle right here. Royal Champ versus Hound. Who's going to win? I bet she's going to pop the Hound and die on the explosion. Boom! <laughs> they kill each other. Oh, nice try there from Ty. But it's not going to work out. That's a defense for Queen Walkers. And all Queen Walkers have to do at this point is just two star out and they're gonna win the war. But here we go. Last attack for Darkest Muzan coming in on Akira's base. 
It's Wei himself, the world champion from last year. At this point, Darkest Muzan pretty much are out of the war. Let's see if we can at least get to watch an OP attack from Wei, the MVP of the world championship tournament last year. Can he come in clutch and get a nice triple? Coming in with a drag clone attack as well. Early clone spell for the dragon, but he gets stuck on the king and again, again, I think they're wanting to get the eagle artillery with the e-dragon and it doesn't work out. At least I assume he wanted the eagle there. I'm pretty sure he did. King's gonna walk down. Royal Champ's gonna get the scatter shot, I bet. And the sweeper. Nicely done there. But two dragon clone plans in a row from Darkest Muzan where the dragon or the e-dragons are not getting the eagle like they wanted. Interesting. Another e-dragon to funnel at 6 o'clock. And it looks like all the dragons are gonna be dropped over here at 7 o'clock. They should have pathing to the eagle, so I don't think it's actually going to be quite as devastating on this attack as it was on the last attack we watched. But let's see. Balloons, dragons coming in from 7. Warden in behind. Queen over at 4 o'clock to help funnel the dragons into the town hall. He has 1 rage and 3 freezes. No bats. Queen's going to pull the CC. Pops her ability. Out come headhunters. Hound gets lured over to the king. Oh no, and the hound's going to come directly over to the dragons. That definitely isn't what you want here on a dragon attack. Dragons are going to get stuck on that hound. They're going to pop it. It only takes them like two and a half seconds. Jeez. They get through that a lot faster than a queen does. Warden taking a lot of damage for some reason. It was probably the headhunters while the dragons were locked onto the hound. Now they're going to path over here toward the town hall. There goes the one and only rage. Warden ability as well. Still has one freeze that he's going to have to use on one of these single target infernos. Three single target infernos are going to absolutely start demolishing his dragons. They're going to get roasted here in just a heartbeat. Decides to freeze the lower inferno tower and the rest of them are going down quick. This is a defense again for Queen Walkers. He's got five dragons up, but those single target infernos do not mess around. They absolutely demolish dragons here. Three dragons. Single target inferno says bye bye. Adios dragons. Oh, they path to it. Hold on. But the dragons are both low. The Expo and Archer Towers are going to make quick work of them. Warden's low as well. And that's a defense. Way not getting the triple there for Darkest Muzan. And Darkest Muzan are going to finish at 23 stars here. Only getting three triples in today's war out of 10 attacks. Honestly, not as good of a performance as we expected from Darkest Muzan. They are normally a top tier clan. But everybody has their off days. Queen Walkers, on the other hand, are not disappointing today. They are 6 for 8. And they have the potential to finish with 28 stars here. Klaus is in. Let's see if he can do it. Coming in with, oh boy, my favorite attack to watch. A Queen Charge Lalo. Early Aurora Champ here over here at 8 o'clock. She's going to find a Skelly Trap right away. Queen coming in at 8.30. Going to walk up and probably into this multi-target Inferno with a wall break here in just a little bit. Gonna have to fight the enemy king first. There goes the wall breaker on the archer tower. Queen's gonna get onto the king. Nice headhunter to help her. Two wizards to funnel. King to funnel the top side. The last attack from Queen Walker is also going live in the background. We're gonna watch this one first. Then we'll watch the other one. At this point, Queen Walkers pretty much have the win. All they have to do is get like three stars out of these two attacks. So unless they have a DC. Unless they have a DC and I just jinxed them. This should be an easy win for Queen Walkers. Next wall break gets the junction, allows Queen access to the scatter shot, the expo, the sweeper, and the enemy Queen here. He even has a third wall breaker that I presume he's going to drop on that warden platform. And yes, he does. Queen's going to walk up and around. Has to rage to keep her alive. Oh, she's taking a lot of damage. There goes the wall breaker. Oh, breaks the junction open. Queen getting targeted by the eagle artillery. Freeze, freeze, freeze. No, the freeze was just a second late. Going to cost him the ability, but that's okay. But this pathing is not what he wanted. Queen's not going to be able to reach the scatter shot now. And the eagle switches over to the healers. Pops a rage, a poison, and a freeze spell to keep this queen alive. A few balloons in for the scatter shot. Eagle artillery targets the loons. Those healers are really low on HP. One pup is going to be able to take out a healer because of how low it is. Scatter shot stays alive with one HP. Oh no. Rages up the queen again. He really wants to get that eagle down and the other scatter shot in the core. And the eagle targets healers again? Oh, that's so unfortunate. One balloon sneaks in there. Gonna get the scatter shot down. Perfectly done there. Town Hall was down by a blimp. 
with uh, sneaky goblins and a hound, I believe, and then the rest of Lalo coming in from four o'clock. Unfortunately, this one isn't going to work out. Looks like it's going to be a defense here. Klaus not quite going to get be able to get this one done, or is he? No, there's only like five balloons left. They're going to go down. It's a defense. It's a defense. Let's check out the other one. Stars is in on Ways Base. Last attack of the war. Last attack of the war, and this one is a Zap Lalo. And he's not... Oh, he used a Stone Slammer on the opposite side of the Town Hall. Ballsy stuff here from Stars, but you know what? He's probably like, guys, we already got the win. I don't need to blimp the Town Hall. Don't even worry. I'll get there eventually. Trust me. Finds a Tornado Trap in the core. Freezes the Town Hall in the back end. Can he get the Town Hall, or will it be a one-star? Looks like he should be able to get the Town Hall with ease. Actually, no freezes. Pops a Warren ability. Drops a Haste to get to the Town Hall. Okay. Should be able to get the Town Hall at 69%. Teehee. Getting into the backside of the base. Oh, the Warren ability was one second too early, and the loons all die to the Gigabomb, but he still has the troops. Whatever's inside the Stone Slammer might be able to clutch up the three-star. Let's see. A Dragon and five Balloons. Can the balloons get the Inferno down in time? I think they can, but can he make it through the air defense? Come on, come on balloons, get there, get there. Two balloons left. No, they're not gonna get it. Air defense stays alive with one HP. Seeking air mine hits the dragon in the face. Oh, it's a defense, or is it? This is gonna be close, hold on. 30 seconds on the clock. That archer tower is full health. The air defense is one shot. Wizard tower is half. Minions are taken for the dragon. No, the dragon hits another seeking air mine. Warden, snipe the air defense. Snipe the air defense before you die. Come on, you just need one shot. Ah! He's on one HP and the archer tower kills him. Damn it. It's a defense for way, but nonetheless, the match is over. And it's a victory for Queen Walkers. 26 to 23. They defeat Darkest Muzan here in the quarterfinals of the MPL Season 3 playoffs, guys. A nice war we had here. Nine triples that we got to see in this war. Beautiful stuff from Queen Walkers. They're going to be advancing to the semifinals of MPL Season 3, guys. An awesome war here to watch. I hope you all enjoyed it. GG's to Darkest Muzan and Queen Walkers. Nice try to Darkest Muzan. Awesome job by Queen Walkers. They're going to be moving on. And that's going to be it for this war.